Good morning students. Welcome back to uh, lecture videos on engineering graphics by Chandu Gaud. In today's lecture, we are going to see intersection of solid surfaces, a second case problem. So what it is? It is a square prism versus a square prism. Here, the case states that a square prism standing and the square prism penetrating. As I've explained in cylinder versus cylinder, the standing, cylinder, standing prism is nothing but a vertical and the penetrating one is a horizontal uh, prism. Here we are going to see the problem that is, let's look into the question. A square prism 30 base side and 70 axis is completely penetrated by another square prism. Both are square prisms whereas uh, the first square prism is 30 base and axis is 70 and coming to the another square prism that is 25 base and 70 axis and it is horizontal. It means the 30 base and 70 axis is a vertical cylinder, is a vertical cylinder and the other one is horizontal as it is specified here in the question, the 25 and 70. Now, so the prisms intersect, the square prism intersect and bisect each other, like they both bisect each other and all the faces of prism are equally inclined to VP. This is our main uh, important question mark here in this question. Look at this. All the phases of square prism are equally inclined to VP. Raw projections showing curves of intersection. Dear students, here it is not curves of intersection. It is a line of intersection. I let you know why it is line of intersection. Now all the phases of prism are equally inclined to VP. I hope you know what exactly a square prism is. Square prism is a solid which has two similar bases. The top base and the bottom base are squares and bounded by four rectangular faces, four rectangular faces. That means your top view is a square and the front view is a rectangle. Similar in the case for the horizontal uh, square prism also. But coming to here, the question, the square prism intersects and bisect each other. Bisect each other. That means it is exactly at the center. The another cylinder, horizontal cylinder is being penetrated through the center of the axis. The axis of this standing cylinder is 70 and the axis of this vertical horizontal cylinder is also 70 and they bisect each other that means the another square prism is being penetrated or through the center of the axis that is at a distance of 35 and its base is 30 its side is 30 the standing cylinder sorry is a square prism and this square prism base is 25 this is 30 and this is 25 with 30 we can draw a square and with 25 also we can draw square what what the question here states is all the phases of the prism are equally inclined to VP. The phases, if you see the phases, what are the phases? Rectangular phases. Rectangular phases are equally inclined. That means they are making 45 degree inclination. Instead of making it a square, uh, it, 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 it is a view uh, rhombus. When you view from the top, when you view from the top instead of a square, we see a rhombus. And even this square prism is also equally inclined. The rectangular faces are equally inclined. If you see here, you can see two rectangles with an edge. And here also, you see two rectangles and the remaining two are backside, which are hidden, which is not visible from the front view. So, when we place cylinder, when you place a square prism like this, it is stated that one of the edges facing towards the viewers and the two rectangular faces, if you see, they are equally inclined. Similarly, backside also you can see two rectangular faces are equally inclined. Similar the case with this also. Now let's look into the answer. Draw x, y line. There is a reference line. And as it is inclined, equally inclined, the square prism, when you view from the top, you see a rhombus. You see a rhombus. Draw it and name it. A true shape. First, we need to draw the top view. Viewing from here top, I see this structure. So that then give naming and project. When you view from the front with this is how much 30 this is 30 and this is how much 70 draw axis with 70 that means you see this edge isn't it instead of axis you see even this line here one of the rectangular face two rectangular faces and the edge in between so that we can see here so this is how the diagram represents here and this is what a rectangle of side uh, this is 30 project from here one and three project from here You'll be getting this length and this axis height is 70 it is given with 70 you're going to draw this and similarly give the naming there as it is one i'm talking only about the top base we not require the bottom base numbers here or we are talking only about the top base so one two four and three dash this is how and similarly we only need to draw the side view of this why because 
the horizontal cylinder true shape is visible in the side view of the standing cylinder or vertical cylinder so locate uh, x uh, on x y line a 45 degree line inclination on it and project from this project all the set of lines on it and project onto the side view so that these lines you need to project here and project from here this will is how much 70 so viewing from top i see the side view that means one of the edge will be seen visible again here so that is this and two rectangular faces so when it is viewed like this equally inclined instead of axis here i see one more that means two rectangles here and the remaining two rectangles will be back side which is not visible here, which are not visible here so this is what so from 4 1 3 2 you project it and project from here 70 i mean this is 70 so we'll be getting rectangle here and two rectangles this is what our side view for the standing cylinder now you're getting students now what is rasp is the another cylinder is another square prism the another square prism is uh, 25 side and axis is 70 a bisect that means this is how much 70 this 70 the place it is placed here isn't it when it is placed here i need to draw first the true shape the true shape will be seen in the side view of the vertical cylinder side view of the vertical cylinder that is again inclined here i see the rhombus so locate 35 distance center and draw the rhombus here draw the rhombus here instead of a square isn't it dear student so this is how much 25 so give a naming to it a numbering to it so they are in double dashes a b c d here so project them onto the front to get a front view that i see what a rectangle to, to, to get a front view what I need to do, I need to do rectangle, project from the true shape, projecting from the true shape, you see a rectangle here, isn't it? This is a rectangle, how you get this? How much is this S side? I mean, this is 70 axis, some from here 35, and from here it is 35, locate it and draw the rectangle, draw the rectangle. Here also you see an edge in between, why? Because it is equally inclined, I see this, I see this line. Now try to look at the lines also here which type is being drawn dark and next we need to get the top view for that what you need to do project from each and every point and erect this side so project from there already a c is being projected that is on one three so this is b to be projected to get the top view of this so project from this and project from this top view so you'll be getting a rectangle here so you'll be getting a rectangle here one more rectangle when you project from this and from the front view as well as from the side view if you project so you'll be getting the side view and you see even in the side view the top view this is uh, what the edges are being visible and this is hidden that's the reason they are being dashed lines they are being dashed lines. now what is going to happen here what where this uh, the question states exactly it is draw the line of intersection instead of curve of inter line of inter why we say it is a line of intersection here because both the planes both the planes are i mean both the solids are of plane surface solids isn't it you can't see anywhere a curve when you look at the cylinder versus cylinder the face is a curve and the base is a plane so there we named it as curve of intersection you see the curve when a cylinder versus cylinder inclination both the surfaces are curve curve structure now coming to the prism it is nothing but a plane surface solid it comes only in a plane surface solid and the contact of this will be at the intersection if you see when they are penetrated here so this is a line of intersection this is a line of intersection when these two if you take into the consideration of a, a hole in the home corner of the beam and the pillar pillar and beam combination if you look there there will be a line of intersection only for the circular cross section there will be a curve of intersection for the plane 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 structures there it will be a line of intersection so that's the reason we need to get the line of intersection how we'll be getting this line of intersection from the standing cylinder the another cylinder sorry from this standing square prism the another square prism is being penetrated that means it is cutting it is cutting in the sense here it is being cut within this i see this so thus when we project this side view this is coming and intersecting or cutting this uh, rhombus with the help of rectangle these are cutting lines cutting plane with the points you get similar to the top cylinder versus cylinder you see so from d i am going to draw a line so that i am going to meet this intersection this rectangle and the rhombus the rectangle of the side view of uh, horizontal one and the rhombus or the square prism of uh, the vertical one are intersecting at this point which point is that d point so d point is coming and cutting this 
square prism the standing square prism here as well as here these two points these two points and coming to a and c a and c line is coming and cutting this three as well as one three and one is being cut with the help of this and that is nothing but this is ac and ac either sides and coming from b even one more line is coming and passing and touching this uh, square prism standing squares here as well as here so this is nothing but b and b so a dash b dash c dash d dash are in the top view sorry side view so its top view will be where here it will be that is nothing but this is d and d and this is ac ac and this is b and b point so as we have got this in the top view as well as side view we need to get the front view also front view will be in terms of a dash b dash c dash d dash so how to get that project this project this this is what d point this d point project at till meeting this d double dash d double dash so you'll be getting d here and this intersection he will be getting what d dash so d double dash this is d in the top view and d dash in the front view kindly go look into it so this is d dash similarly project from each and every point even from this side also you'll be getting here d dash and either sides you need to draw either sides why because it is being penetrated only half 35 35 so i'll be giving i will be looking the line of intersection either sides so similarly three from three they have died directly it is being plotted here you see from three that means this is a and c a and c point is where here so this is c c dash in the side view c here a and c here isn't it see this is c in the top view so c dash will be a c c dash and similarly here this is a double dash so this will be a so from here it is a and this will be a dash a dash this is what and coming to b coming to b b is also on the same path where d double dash is located where d double dash is located so this is nothing but d b and d on along the same line so here you will be getting b dash and d dash similarly even this side also try to project them try to project you'll be getting the same points with the intersection so this one represents what one is for a and c a and c so c is here and a is here so project them and join the lines so you'll be getting c dear students these all points when you draw it you'll be getting this all so join them with a straight line as it is a line or plane so you need to draw with a straight line so straight lines to be drawn here so not the free hand you should be using scale and pencil and draw it why because if you see this here in the solid 3d object a line of intersection and if you look hidden lines so this is hidden why because it is being inside which cannot be seen the green color the horizontal one so which is not visible from here to here so that's the reason this is hidden line and even here below also this is hidden line this is hidden line and even if you, you cannot see here as well as here this line is hidden and these lines are being hidden this is about a square prism versus square prism thank you for more videos please do subscribe to my channel